What's going on guys, Ozzy here, welcome back to a brand new video. So as you see on the screen right now, Jonathan Okunni, he looks outrageous. 94 pace, 92 dribbling, 83 shooting, 86 passing and 70 physical. The fact, I personally would just love to improve his shooting. Other than that, he looks like a crazy card. 5 foot 9, the perfect height. It's inside the meta height and it should be very good for a striker. He is a striker by the way, not a cam, 100% with those stats. High medium work rates, the perfect attacking work rate, left footed, no problem. He's got a four star weak foot, which means I'm going to be able to cut onto his right and able to shoot with it. He also has four star skill moves. You know me, I love my four star four stars. The Berber spin, the standing scoop turn is always going to feel nice. He's obviously going for 300k right now. And for a person with these stats, I personally think it's quite cheap, but at the end of the day, we're going to obviously see if it's worth it. Now, 95 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. Before we get into that, though, I did forget. Dead Eye Chem style, he is obviously on 10 chem. So, 95 acceleration, 94 sprint speed. Very, very fast. Should be outpacing centre backs, no problem. He has 99 attack and positioning, 98 finishing, 98 shot power, 85 long shot, and 83 penalties. Finishing wise should be immense inside the box. The power shot should be so clinical. It's ridiculous. The finesse shot should be nice as well. He has 99 vision, 86 crossing, 91 free kick accuracy, 97 short passing, 77 long passing and 98 curve. For a striker slash a cam if you want to call him that can pass that well. It's going to be a very, very like nice plus side to him. He, with that short pass, he's going to be the link up player, the one, two plays. Free kick accuracy is also nice, so if he gets a free kick, I will obviously be shooting it with him. He has that 99 vision, but 77 long passing. But as I said in the previous videos or my previous player reviews, the, the uh, vision and long passing kind of come together and balance it out. So in realistic, I do believe that that uh, long passing could be around 87, 88, maybe. But we're obviously going to test it out to see how it is. 99 agility, 89 balance, 88 reactions, 90 ball control, 92 dribbling and 89 composure. Very nice. Agility-wise, should be crazy on the ball, turning inside out, left and right. It's going to be always, always nice to see someone that's got high ball control and high agility as well, because that's just going to make him just sliver through every single piece of uh, defending. Now, the 89 balance means he's not going to do falling over animations, and the composure is going to be very nice on him, simply because... If a person like Virgil van Dijk or headliner Chris Morning is going to come towards him, he's not going to panic on the ball. He's going to keep calm and composed, and it's going to be simple as that, not take any bad touches. Now, he has got 86 stamina, which means he's going to last throughout the whole 90 minutes. That's always nice to see. 61 strength, though, means he's going to be getting bodied a lot. But hopefully that 75 aggression does help, and hopefully he will fight for the ball and try to get it back. Now, today, I have linked him up with Neymar, Ossimain, Kante, and Suzoko. Yes, I, I won't be trying to do the Austin main uh, objective during this video. It's simple. He gets a strong link to Ikone. So I'm going to obviously try to link him and get him on 10 chem. So that's the reason I have got him in. But I will be using uh, Ikone in a 4 4 2, playing him up front with Neymar. But I want to see if he can play that lone striker role. So I'll be playing him in a 4 2 3 1, him obviously up front. But let's get straight into the games. What's your main through on already? Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. I don't know what that defending was from obviously my team, from my opponent, sorry. But he, I didn't expect him to feel that agile, to be fair. I'm not going to lie. He feels so, so clean on the ball. Beautiful run. Can I get a running fake shot? Unbelievable. Can I just get that shot off? No, I can't. Now, the reason I did that running fake shot was because I wanted to use that acceleration that he has just to get away from David Luiz. Which he did. He had time to take the shot, but at the same time, David Luiz kept him busy pretty much and did use his strength to body him off the ball. Which you're always going to get an issue with a person that's obviously not the tallest and not the strongest. Little dummy. Use that acceleration. Little cut through. He feels so nice on the ball, man. Look at him, just calm and composed. Oh my. Oh my god. The triple ball roll that I do tell you guys to do, it works. Somehow, some way, he did get that ball back. And I've noticed he's got that fighting, like, I would call it a fighting spirit. But I don't know really, I don't really know what to call it at this point. But that was a very nice triple, uh, triple ball roll to get the angle. Easy shot near post. I'm, I noticed though, look how much power he hit this with. Right foot. I know it's a four star weak foot, but he hit that with a lot of power and accuracy. Very nice finish. He's so fast. 
No, I just couldn't keep control of the ball there. Simply, the guy was obviously on my back. And, you know, you know, Okone, he's, he hasn't got the greatest strength to him. So, yeah, if he does get touched a little bit, he is going to be taking bad touches. So, that's always going to happen. Look at him fighting for the ball. I've never in my life seen someone with so low aggression actually fight for the ball. That That, that is a huge factor of him. That's a great run. Can I get a little touch? Get around that corner, maybe? Unbelievable. Am I going to get a goal as well? Oh, my God. That, that block was unbelievable. But did you see how strong... Did you see how strong he was there in the situation? Getting around the corner. Calm and composed. Beautiful dribbling. One thing I've noticed, his dribbling is outrageous. You can do whatever you want with him. The triple ball rolls, the double ball rolls. You can do the drag backs. You can simply do every skill move with this guy. And it feels amazing. Beautiful. One, two. On to the left foot. Can I get a finesse? Now that, he 100% should have finished that. I have no idea how he has missed that opportunity. I am so, so confused. But at the same time, it was a beautiful touch, beautiful turn, but he just couldn't end it. A little one, two. What a run that is. Unbelievable. Use your pace. Don't let Tommy Yasu catch up. Come on. Going to do a half drag back. In a way, he did catch up, and I don't know. He didn't feel he didn't feel fast there. I was flicking the ball, trying to get him to accelerate, trying to get his sprint speed going, but he just wasn't. On the finesse, oh, just hitting the post. I don't know what my opponent's doing. I think he was lagging in that situation. We got the opportunity with him though, and hit the post. It was a powerful shot, I must say. There was it looked like there was a lot of curve on it, and it was a very good shot, but. At the end of the day, if it doesn't go in, it doesn't go in, in it. Oh, that's a terrible touch. I have noticed, though, his touch on, like, sometimes his touch is not the greatest. And I don't really know. I don't really understand why at this point. Great turn. Use that left foot to get a shot off. And that is the second time he has hit a post. He's missed a clear cut chance as well. I really don't understand right now. Simply because his finishing stats are outrageous and he just simply can't finish for me. He's missing too many chances. And this is like something that you guys need to keep away with if you want to go into your like elite two slash elite one. If you want to reach there, then you have to you have to completely avoid players that's gonna be hitting the post consistently. That's a nice pass. Can you support me there? Yes, you can. He's made a beautiful run, but I just couldn't give him the pass. But this is pretty much what you're going to get from Ikone that you're not going to get from other players. Is that the fact, the fact that he can pass the ball is that you can thread all these needles. You can do whatever you want with him while passing. And that is a huge factor because you can low-key use him as like a cam in a way. That's a beautiful turn. Nice. He's going to fake that. Then actually going to turn and then use his left foot, but just couldn't get the finish. You see how nice he though, how nice he feels on the dribbling. Turning inside out, I can do whatever I want. I can fake left, I can fake right, and Ariola in goal saves that. That's an unbelievable save. That's a great fake shot. Can I get a power shot near post? I did obviously shoot with his right foot. Obviously him being his weaker foot, the four star weak foot. But look at the accuracy on this shot. The power. It was a really, really good shot. It was going top bins. And Ariola once again, is stopping the ball from going into the back of the net. Great fake shot. Oh, my God. He took a touch I did not expect him to take. And I don't know. The gameplay right now, I must admit, is terrible. It's terrible to another level. He's just taking, like, everything's being clumsy. He's in the right position. I'm actually going to turn on to his right and then turn on to his left. It was a bit too readable. Are we going to get a finish? This Areola right now, he's pulling out the biggest saves I've ever seen someone pull out. This is a good shot. Into the corner with a bit of power and he's pulling out one-handed saves. I have no idea what to say. It's a great pass. Great acceleration. The ball roll. Cut in. Get the pass off. Easy goal. Simple as that. Just quick footwork from Okone. That was beautiful to see. The fact that he can keep the ball so close to his feet. While just slivering in and out of defenders, sending the defender off the pitch and a beautiful pass to Neymar. We are always going to get that from Akoni, the fact that he can obviously pass the ball so, so good for a striker is ridiculous. 
Use that pace. Accelerate. Come on. I don't know. His acceleration is not great, is it? Like, if you saw that, it took time, a long time, to actually accelerate. And I don't know. I don't like that, that unresponsiveness. It's a great turn. Let's bring it onto his left foot to get the finesse. Are going to go for a drag back. Hit it with the right. And he hits post once again. And you know what I told you earlier? You have to stay away from some of these players that hit the post too often. And for me, this guy has hit post four times already. Four times. Don't know what to tell you guys, honestly. That's beautiful. Little hill to hill. Drag back. Can I get a power shot? And finally, we do get a goal with him. And it's an unbelievable finish. Nice little footwork. I've come to the conclusion that the hill to hill on this guy feels amazing. So you're going to probably see more highlights of me doing hill to hills. Because, A, it's so fast. The acceleration that he has, he gets there instantly. Little, little combo, if you guys want to call it. The hill to hill, then the drag back to hit it onto his left foot. And it's a beautiful finish. Use that pace. Nah, it, the thing is, sometimes he just, when he's under pressure, he can't keep the ball close to his feet, so he can obviously sliver around sometimes. And that's what I've noticed. I've noticed sometimes he can and sometimes he can't, and I don't really like that inconsistency. It's a beautiful touch. Get round him as well. Unbelievable dribbling. Wow. The fact that he kept, his, he kept it so close to his feet, so I can just go inside of the defender. Because it looks like the, my opponent now knows that he is left-footed. Because not a lot of people know who this guy is. So they're not going to know what foot he is. So they're always going to think, oh, he's right-footed. He's always going to cut onto the right. Because most players in this game is right-footed. But he is left. And I've been shooting a lot with his left left recently. So I was like, hey, he's probably going to cut on. He's probably going to try to defend that left, sh left foot shot. So I'm going to cut onto his right foot. Do that finesse. And what a finesse it was, by the way. Four-star weak foot. And it was perfectly inside the corner. I like that. So, it is obviously time to review him. And let me say, this card, it was nice. But at some points, there was a few issues, which I will obviously get into. Now, 5 foot 9, not a problem at all. High, medium work rate, deep, perfect work rate. He makes the right runs and comes short whenever I want. Left foot, no problem. The 4-star weak foot, it hit the post a lot. Now, there was some tidy finishes, I must admit. But other times, he hit the post a lot. And missed a lot of chance with that right foot. So... It, it looked like it was a four-star weak foot, but there was some amazing saves that apparently Ariola wanted to pull out. Now, the four-star skill moves feel very nice on him. The ball roll, the uh, sorry, the hill to hill, the Berber spin, it all felt amazing on him. But there was some points when I was doing, obviously, some skill moves that the ball would go further than normal simply because he was under pressure at some points. It's not because, obviously, chain skill moves because I only would do one skill move in the run. And sometimes he was under pressure getting a little shoulder barge or getting a little tug of the shirt. And it made him lose control a lot. Now, pace-wise, there was some points that he didn't accelerate where I did want him to. But there was other points that he felt immensely fast. So I feel like Ikone is one of those one of those players that he already has to be in the motion of running to feel very, very fast. Rather than one of the people to pick up the ball. And then start moving with him and he'll feel amazingly fast. Because he's not. He feels very, very slow when you pick up the ball with him. And then start running yourself. That is a bit of an issue. Because players like Neymar feel, feel very, very fast. Players like Adama Traore, he got the instant. Uh, uh, Daniel James, Future Stars that just came out. He's got that instant reaction to him. Ikone hasn't really got that. Finishing wise. I would say when he was in the good angles. He would finish some, like, I would say 60, 60% of them. But there was some points like a finesse that you guys did see wide open and he missed the whole target. With the right foot, he hit post three or four times. I just couldn't get my head around this guy finishing. And I don't know why, because look at those finishing stats. They're unbelievable. But I just couldn't get my head around it. He was hitting post so often and you guys need to stay away from players that hit post so often. I've told you this plenty of times. That's what's going to cost you. Trust me. Passing wise, unbelievable pass. A short passing, long passing, everything feels crazy on this guy. Exactly what I predicted. The 77 long passing and the vision coming together to be like an 88 long passing and giving him that aspect of doing the over the tops, which is always nice to see. Agility felt amazing on the ball, dribbling left and right. As I said, the acceleration does let him down a little bit when obviously trying to accelerate with the ball while he's on his feet. 
But in other times, let's say with the ball, he's already running I, I, I over top of the ball to him. He feels like rapid. He feels, does he does a little snake method where he goes inside out. The guy has no idea where he's going to move, and a lot of people don't know who Ekone is. So it, it's going to be it's going to be one of those players that they always think he's going to be right footed if they don't know who it is. So you can cut onto the left, be unexpected, and score an easy goal. Now, stamina wise, unbelievable. Up and down the pitch, no problem coming short so often, by the way, that I might actually have to, you might actually have to put stay forward on him. Because I've noticed he comes forward a bit too much, which I don't really like because he uses a lot of stamina up. Now, strength, he gets bodied a lot. There's no chance he's not going to get bodied. The thing with Ikoni is he gets a lot of rebounds. I've noticed that. And that could come down to aggression, him winning a lot of 50-50s. But... In a shoulder to shoulder, uh, in shoulder to shoulder barge, he's gonna get bodied, 100%. But I have to review this guy, and obviously I have to give him a rating out of 10. And I'm gonna give him, I'm gonna give him an 8 out of 10, because he wasn't terrible. He wasn't at all. And it, looking at the stats, he feels amazing. But in game, it's a whole different story. Now the reason I'm not giving it a 9 or a 10 out of 10 is because I do believe his finishing was a bit, eh, not the greatest. If he had the outside foot shot, it would have been 10 times better. And the reason I'm not giving 10 out of 10 is that strength. He panicked a lot on the ball. A lot. Especially when a player like David Luiz or Van Dijk was coming towards him. His strength, in, his strength wasn't the greatest. But, hey, that's my rating out of him. But if you guys obviously did enjoy this uh, player review, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.